What's up, everyone? My name is Galactic Mr. E, and I will be your host today. I am here for another episode of My Cool Books. Today, we'll be discussing Axe, Eve of Judgment, which is the precursor to Marvel's uh, big crossover event coming this summer, uh, leading up into November, December, I believe. Uh, but it's going to be this big crossover event between the Avengers, the Eternals, and the X-Men. So it's got a lot of big names popping up here and there. Uh, so I know a lot of people are really excited for this event to kick off. This one came out yesterday on July 13th. The actual event X Judgment Day kicks off on July 20th, right before Comic-Con. Um, so in Eve of Judgment, we are picking up with the Eternals. There's not a whole lot of action in this book, but they do kind of explain the reason why this event is about to take place. Um, so you get a lot of backstory. So if you're if you're looking for a book to to deep dive into before the event kicks off, this is really worth it. But if you're looking for a book that has a lot of action in it, uh, you might want to wait until the actual event gets gets going. This book is written by Kieran Gillen, artist Pascal Ferry, and color art by Dean White. Um, Basically, there are three leading principles for the Eternals. That is, protect Celestials, protect the machine, and correct excess deviation. And that third principle is what's going to kind of kick this whole event off. We have Druig, who is new to his seat of power as the Prime Eternal, and he wants to do kind of a power play to get people uh, to rally behind him. And his power play is going to be correct excess deviation. And now this deviation um, is another word for mutation. Um, and so that is kind of why uh, we're going to see this event kick off. So the Eternals, under the, uh, under the rule of Druig, are going to try to exterminate the X-Men. Uh, they said that they're, they've gotten too powerful. It's time to cut this deviation off at the head. Um, so we do see Druig try to exterminate them in this uh, first issue uh, before the event even get, gets kicked off. The only thing that really saved the X-Men is because they are now on this sentient island called Krakoa. Um, and Krakoa is a part of Earth, which is the machine. And so when he tries to do away with Krakoa, um, his principles kick in and he has to recall the bomb. It's the only reason the X-Men were spared in this first issue. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so we did see him at the end of the issue go see uh, Uranus, who uh, started an eternal civil war, uh, or who is known for starting an eternal civil war because he wanted to eliminate all humans and all deviations. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see you know, how he comes into play and if the Eternals are going to like stand behind Druig in this play, because we do already have Eternals kind of factioning off, which the beginning of the book, you do get to see all of the, it does name all of the Eternals and it shows their different factions. We're seeing the cracks in the Eternals um, grouping and this book is really helping to lay down the level works, show why the Eternals would even step into this fight and come to find out they're the cause of the fight. Um, I thought it was a really good play. There was some things I'm not very clear on, which I'm sure we'll get more information on as the story unfolds. Um, there was a part in the book where uh, Ajak and M Mockery, I think I'm saying that correctly, but they uh, captured Dr. Sinister, who was a known, uh, known in the X-Men books. So I'm not really sure what that plot line was all about, but I'm sure we'll get more information as it unfolds. Um, like I said, there wasn't a whole lot of action in this book, so there's not a whole lot to talk about, um, but it definitely laid the groundwork uh, for the upcoming event. So it did its job. <laughs> so if you're looking forward to the event and you want to kind of get that backstory as to why the Eternals are about to start waging war on the X-Men, um, pick it up. It was a decent read. 
Um, but like I said, if you're expecting action, it may not be the book for you because there was not <laughs> there was not a whole lot of action to speak about. Um, and like I said, the Avengers were there for a blip. It showed them making waffles. So <laughs> we didn't really get much information on the Avengers. But I can only speculate that once... Once the Eternals and the X-Men start butting heads, the Avengers, of course, are going to hop in, and that's how they'll get introduced to the story. But we'll see. Like I said, the first issue comes out uh, July 20th, and we've got a buttload of issues coming out after that. This is going to be a long story, um, and I'm kind of interested to see what's going to happen. I know it's going to reshape the Marvel Universe, um, so yeah, let us know what you're looking forward to in this story. Let us know if you, you checked out the, uh, Eve of Judgment and what, what, you, what your thoughts on it were. Um, our next My Cool Book episode will be H.G. Damien discussing Wonder Woman. Uh, so definitely look forward to that. We got a lot of great content coming your way, especially with Comic-Con coming up. Um, so stay tuned. Okay, bye.